Hey folks, welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Uh, it's almost time to head over to the canyon to uh, deal with whatever's going on over there. However, off camera I did something that I'm slightly proud of. A little bit late, but we did it anyway. Uh, I've got some new storage boxes over here that I've sorted things into. So we got raw resources one. I guess it's backwards technically. But these large storage boxes can hold a lot. So I've got raw resources in here. And then we've got raw resources two. We've got raw, raw resources three. Uh, and then I've got another three boxes full of relic pieces. So those guys are right here. Uh, I also learned a couple other things that are important. So one, when you're in the interface, if you click the right stick to sort all, it messes up the arrangement I have in my inventory. However, if you click it with the mouse button, you do get this little pop-up. And I didn't realize that was a checkbox. It's sort of hard to tell. But you can transfer without sorting. So instead of the thing I've been doing where I'm cycling through all of my storage boxes and mashing this autofill button over here, we can now use this and it doesn't break my sorting at all, which is fantastic. And I wish I'd noticed it 60 episodes ago. Uh, the other thing that I found out is that uh, in addition to being able to slow down time, if you go to the settings over here, you can actually speed up time. So when we're waiting for something to be printed at a recycler or a machine or something, we can actually, I can actually speed up time and make time pass much, much more quickly, which is very handy. Um, anyway, uh, those were things I learned off camera and thought I'd share them with you. I'm sure some of you have been screaming me about that checkbox for 50 episodes, but tough, tough luck. I'm recording it all way, way, way ahead of time. Anyway, uh, it's time to check out what's going on at the canyon over here. And we might need to eat some stamina food if we have combat going on. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. But uh, I do have 10 fish with me, which can get me up to 360 salmon, which should be enough for a, a small fight or two. Hey, you made it. Me and Ashu have been here a while. Ain't noticed anything unusual yet. Man, I hate ghost cases. Us waiting here is a bit unusual. That's true. Waiting in a group is fun, though. I saved you a seat. You mean this, all of this bare rock all around here? Okay. Did you hear that? I love how Captain comes on all the missions. <laughs> I think I hear something. It's getting louder. Sir, if it's a ghost, how do we catch it? Uh, a ghost! Ah! Water, need water. It's a giggler. Well, I'll be a rooster's rocket. It's a giggler. I haven't seen any of them near here since we cleared them out of Gecko Station. I can confirm it's not a giggler ghost, sir. He must have really liked rock climbing, but he's hurt. What should we do with him? We should help him. Uh, we obviously had conflict with the previous group of gigglers, but we can handle one guy on his own. And why was he coming out of the desert begging for water? If the other group threw him out or if he's a straggler, Maybe we can finally establish actual relationship with the Gigglers, you know? If we can negotiate with them, make peace, do trade, maybe we won't have to worry about them in the future. Yeah, I agree. Not our style to turn away those in need. But he does look kind of familiar, don't you think? All right, unsure. Let's get this guy over to Dr. Fangs. We'll decide what to do with him once he's got the strength to speak up. Hopefully he's not hostile. <laughs> Nice bait. Bump your head. Yeah, probably. That usually happens when you fall off a cliff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Too soon? Uh, that's funny. Ooh. It's... a giggler. Can you help him? Not a vet. Potato, potato. It's not a potato. It's a lizard. Come on, Doc. You gotta do something. At least give him some water. <sighs> I will... Do what I can. That's all we're asking. Now listen, Bird and Fang, this fella here could be extremely dangerous. So if he starts waking up or fidgeting or anything, you better fly over to me on the double. Got it. Got it. Okay, ghost recon mission complete. This guy's name apparently is Larry. And he is awake. Or at least his eyes are open. Yeah, he's blinking. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll uh, wait and find out what happens with Larry tomorrow. 
So that just leaves us with the main mission and also going to sleep for tonight. What do you have to say, Justice? Having the brother of a criminal replace him, even if he is on the level, isn't that some kind of conflict of interest? Well, no one brought it up. Last thing I need is to get strung into Commerce Guild drama. Those guys are nitpicky. Uh, not you though, Max. Hmm. Kind of a waste to put a hero like Logan in the clink, but if this little charade is what gets him back in folks' good graces, guess I'll keep my head down and follow orders. Catch you later. Catch you later. I can't, I can't really do uh, a black voice very well. I don't seem to figure, I don't seem to understand how it works. Um, I've tried before, but it either comes out not right or super racist. I've done my best with justice, but it's, it's pretty, it's hard for me. I don't quite know how to, how to speak in that voice with that tone. Like, it's just not something I'm good at. Anyway. With that, uh, statement made, I guess we're gonna go home and go to sleep. I mean, we have a little bit of time before we have to sleep. We could get started on the steel frames. Oh, you can, uh, you can go to sleep. Uh, and I guess we have some deliveries here. Wheat and plant fiber. Okay, so that's because Mion harvested the wheat, so we should replant it real quick. Hey, buddy. How are you? Why don't you go doing a dispatch until you have to sleep? Uh, where did the wheat come from? Let's see. Over here? Yeah, okay. Let's replant it, I guess. It's bio crust. Uh, I guess we'll plant some more wheat. And put down some water. And an itty bitty bit of fertilizer. Okay, that seems fine. So steel frames, we need the zinc titanium alloy, the aluminum alloy plates, and the composite fiber rods. We have all of those, but crafting them will uh, deplete our resources thereof. Let's see if we can get some more composite fiber rods going. We can. All right, so I'll get 15 of those going. Uh, aluminum alloy plates. Can I make those here? No, only at the machine tools. What would an upgrade cost? Not too much. I think that we can do this. Got a second machine tools here to make more aluminum alloy plates. That's fine. Yeah, let's get a bunch of these going. And then zinc titanium alloy, I believe we're already working on. We are, okay. So maybe, maybe since we need 10 of these, it's time to examine this auto assembly thing. So add to queue. We need the steel frame, I guess. Yeah, this is new, okay. So we can assemble that. And we can make... Oh, we can make all 10. Oh, that's pretty cool. It'll take an hour and 30, and it'll do it for us. Okay, that's actually really cool. Oh, look at this. So it's actually gonna, like, pick up the various... Yeah, that's really cool. And what does it do when it's finished with one? It just pockets it, to, it, pockets it over here or something? Huh. Now, oh yeah, it's, it's put it right here. So where's the second one go? Like on top of it? Yeah, it stacks them. That's really cool, actually. So wait a minute, how do I... Oh, it's, it's, uh, I was look. I was seeing this, I was seeing the, uh, the icon and thought it was for this thing. But this thing needs fuel. All right. Okay, that auto assembly thing is really dope. I like that. That's pretty cool. I think it's now time to go to sleep. So let's do that. Oh, and we picked up, we picked up that crib recipe. Hold on. Maybe, maybe if I put a crib in here, she'll be like, oh, we have space for a baby. Let's have a baby. Do I make that here? Uh, baby's crib. Yeah. Hardwood, sticks, and cloth. All right, let me make one of those. Let's place it down in the house somewhere and see what she thinks. See if she comments on it. Put it right next to the bed so that she could watch over the baby at night. In front of the jeweled egg so it has something to look at. Okay. 
long press arrange bed. I guess the head is facing away from us right now. Is that right? I don't have a baby. Okay. Maybe, maybe this will do something. Let's find out. Anyway, let's go to bed. I had a dream last night that we had a baby and it grew up to be the best builder in the world. I woke up feeling like we're really ready. What do you think? I apparently, what I think is that I needed to build that friggin' baby crib to get you to think about this. Let's have a child. Oh, <laughs> then it's the two of us working together to raise an amazing child. A new beginning. Oh, look at me. I'm so giddy. Exciting. All right, that's cool. Uh, so we'll, presumably there will not be a, uh, an erotic sex scene in this game. So we'll just have to use our imaginations. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and send out the animals. Oh, he's still collecting. So he sleeps, but he'll still go out, huh? Okay. Seems good. Let's step outside and find out what happens today. Is Larry going to wake up? Maybe not yet. Hey, want to do the patrol where we don't look for bad guys and just do fun stuff instead? I kind of would, but eh, there's not enough interesting playdate content here, I'm sure. Uh, all right, let's 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 do the morning routine, shall we? Water. Or dew, rather, from the dew collectors. That's good. Uh, she'll do any harvesting that needs to be done. We need to go around and collect stuff. Look at this. Ten of these things made for me. Amazing. Uh, so we can talk to Heidi to get those delivered later. Top up the water tank and the furnace. Nice. Collect our goodies. These I'm just going to let finish today, because uh, we need to reconsider what to make in them. So I'm going to let them finish up what they're working on. Um, let's do... Let's see, she's going to pet the chickens and collect their, their dukes. Let's collect whatever we've got here. There's a lot. No mail today. Interesting. If we look at the calendar... Nobody's birthday, and only this main mission to work on. Okay, that's fine. Timon, how you doing, buddy? You're a good little meerkat, aren't you? Okay. Uh, let's see. What else can we collect here? What else can we do? Fertilizer. Uh, recycling we always want to stay ahead of. Let's see. What do we got? Fiber scrap, for sure. And then mechanical scrap. He'll be done with that pretty quickly, but that's okay. We can come back later in the day and get you to do something else. You're working on some advanced mechanical. What else have we got? Aluminum. Get some of that going. Okay. Uh, you're making replacements for the stuff we used. That's fine. Okay, so you're still working. What about you? What do we want you doing? Anything? Petrified wood. Granite. Well, we need more granite tiles from the furnace first. Let's have you make... Well, who, what are you making over here? You're making aluminum alloy plates. Okay. So you don't need to make aluminum alloy plates. Which means you can make titanium aluminum plates. Or more likely, we need more of these. Yeah, we keep burning through this zinc titanium alloy as soon as we produce it. But... That's okay, because we're building up a stock. That'll get us to 16. And that means I do actually want uh, to top these two up. And I guess this one as well. And we probably need... Well, we're probably okay for chromium. I'll let that one burn out. Uh, these guys don't have food, so let's make sure they have food. There's another 30 chestnuts for you. Okay, and then we can come over here and we can just do this. And that puts everything in a place where it needs to be. Uh, we'll put the dregs and the dukes in there and we're, we're all set. I am carrying around uh, the raven's wings for when we hit level 50 and a spare yakmel station in case we have a place to put it. But that does save a lot of time in inventory management. Well, some time anyway. Uh, I think we're actually good to go here. Let's go talk to Heidi about these steel frames and advance the main story, and then we'll figure out whether we're doing side quests or commissions today. 
Looks like Burgess is giving a sermon. Wish more people were around to hear that. Now, when I preach forgiveness, I don't mean always forgive and forget. No, we would do well to remember. Okay, well, you, you do you, Burgess. I've never been a religious dude. I'm not going to start attending church on Sundays, but I'm glad that you're having fun. What did the tunnel say at the trial when it's accused of a lack of foundation? Uh, what did the tunnel say at the trial when it's accused of a lack of foundation? It's got to be a, a, a acquittal. Um, I'm innocent. Uh, a lack of foundation. Braces? Something with... I don't know. What is this dumb pun joke, Heidi? I've been framed. Oh, that's terrible. Hey, well, now that you've given me these steel frames, it will be framed. We're one step closer to making that a reality. If there's anything else we need from you, I'll let you know. But drilling should be pretty close to done in a few days. Maybe take a break till then. And once we're through, we can all meet up again to talk about what's next. See ya. And thanks as always for the top-notch work. Wow, okay. Mian became my full devotion. What is... did that change? She was my soulmate before. Full devotion? Okay. Well, I guess she was my soulmate, and then we got married, and then I don't know what happened. I guess this is this is good, though. We're about to have a kid, so it seems good. Uh, yeah, that made everybody happy. What are we at now? I think we might be over 200,000. Yeah, we're... Wow, 230,000. Okay. We're making progress. Uh, looks like there's an event at the Blue Moon. And I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, just the one. Okay, let's go see what that is, and then we'll figure out what to do with the day. But yeah, that auto builder thing is cool for sure. Hey Grace, what's up girl? Hey there. Remember when we first met, I told you I was into star signs? Well, it wasn't true. I actually think they're nonsense. I just like to come off as vapid when meeting people. <laughs> Helps me fade into the background better. Nice. So long, partner. Oh, hey. Hmm. You okay? Unsure? You look a little down. I'm fine, I guess. It's just... All I ever wanted in life is to be deputy. And now that I have it, I don't really feel any different. Well, I think I feel a little better, but still kind of the same, too. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, you've lost your purpose. They told me it'd be lonely at the top, but no one ever said it would be lonely at second in command. I'm happy that it happened, but I feel like... Now I'm just going to go back to walking around town looking for bad guys I never find, and maybe nothing is ever going to change again. I mean, you still have friends to hang out with like me. Yeah, you're right. Through it all, you've always been there. Thank you for that. What if I run out of things to say? If we keep having the same conversations over and over again? What if I never have a new goal I want to accomplish? Will you get bored of me? Uh, so Jossaway the game player probably would. Max the builder, never. That's nice of you to say. Well, whatever happens, I want you to know I love you. I care about you. All of the adventures we've had together have meant everything to me. Sorry, I just felt like if I didn't say that now, I'd never say it. Yeah, that's the truth, I think. Um... I feel a little better now. Do you want to hang here and chat a bit? Like we always do? Sure, buddy. I better get going. I'm deputy now. Lot of responsibility. You know how it is. Well, see ya. Okay, buddy. I think that's a really nice depiction of male friendship and a, and a, and a, it's a rare example of like a non, a non male female friendship talking about love. I think those things are kind of hard to say, especially for men uh, in this culture in America. And I think it's really nice that they put it in the game that way. It wasn't, it wasn't about romance. It wasn't about, you know, sex or dating. 
It was about the fact that they have a deep, deep friendship and to ensure this is a person that he cares about very, very much. And I think expressing those emotions is difficult and important. And it's, it, it's really a nice, it's a very nice, very sweet, very brave moment from Unsure there to say that to Max. And I really, really appreciate that. As I've said before, I think the writing in this game is excellent. Just absolutely top notch. And little moments like that, you don't, you don't see that kind of a moment in, in games. You don't even really see that in TV and films. Uh, at least not that I can think of. Anyway, that was very, very nice. I appreciate that. And uh, it's time to figure out what we're going to do with the day. Because, nice moments aside, this is a video game about making making stuff. So, we got to make some things. Let's take a look at what's available on the Commerce Guild board. Okay, there's some big, there's some big stuff here. There's a Yakmel station. We actually have this done. And I might just give it to her and not make another one. Um, I'm actually carrying that around. Let's see what else we've got. Um, 3300 for a steel panel for Amira. I'll take that. What else have we got? 1300 there. Uh, 900 for cantaloupe for Don B. 1000 for rhino horn cactus. We actually have some of both of these. I'll take these for the money. And that gets us finished. Okay, so... The steel panel we'll have to build, but the other ones we can get done. Let's get this delivered. It's like one of our uh, clients is right here. There's Elsie. Nice seeing ya. What do you got to say, Else? Mm-hmm. Wish I had a twin. Not an evil one, though. Or maybe... Well, I reckon having an evil twin opens up a lot of possibilities for adventure. Color me undecided on the issue for now. You got it, babe. Wow. Okay, there's the Yakmel station done. Let's hop up on Lickety Spit. Make our way over to somebody else. We have two more commissions that are done now. One for Dunby and one for Trudy. All right, let's go. Oh, I should buy water, salt, and I should go up and do salvage today. Yeah. Hey, Macchiato. All right, Trudy. What do you have to say? Hmm. I've got Mr. Way checking our old contracts. Turns out I really missed a lot of red flags over the years. I mean, I always knew Yan was obnoxious. I just, I, I thought he was paid well enough not to steal from us. Yeah, not quite. Okay, there's the cactus delivered. Uh, let me go deal with... Oh, hey, Jasmine. How are you? Hmm. Yan and Wei are like complete opposites in every way. For example, Yan smells like garbage, whereas I'm pretty sure Wei uses cologne. <laughs> so long, partner. So long, partner. Unsurprisingly, I also have difficulty doing little girl voices. Um, okay, there's our salt. I think we're okay on that for now. I think we haven't really cut into it yet. We'll grab some water, and I think I might need a little teeny tiny bit of fertilizer, too. All right, there's 25 water. That's nice. And just a little bit of fertilizer. Uh, looks like Don B's down there, so that's helpful. Riri's finally back. I'll have to do some shopping and make him his favorite stew. Um... That's not how all twins work, right? One good, one evil? I had kind of been hoping for twins myself, but now I'm not so sure. Yeah, that's not how they all work. Thank you. All right, so that just means we have one commission left, which is these steel panels. And we only need one, but they do have to be perfect. Uh, so let's make the steel frame. And then we'll, I guess, assemble the steel panels. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to make a mahjong table. Thank you very much. Do we have a machine I haven't built yet? We have the advanced forging machine. We have the industrial grinding table. Or do we? Advanced work table. I should I should double check if there's things we can make. Uh, steel panels. Here we go. So, steel frames. Chromium bars. Iron latches. And we're done. Okay. 
Uh, so this is the industrial grinding table. That is maxed out. Okay. This is the advanced work table. Industrial, industrial, advanced, industrial. Yeah, I think we're good here. I think the only thing we haven't done yet is upgraded the generator here. Um, so should we do that? I guess we should. I need two magnesium chromium furnace cores. Is there some reason I can't do that? I think I had to make the bricks, but I did, right? Didn't I? Oh, it was the spinel that we needed. So I do need more bricks. But I got the spinel I needed. Alright, let's get the, the generator upgraded. Nice. Okay. And let's throw in... Uh, yeah, there we go. Very nice. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to having all the machines as high level as they can be. And actually, that does remind me. Um, we have to deliver this thing to uh, Amira. But I can't remember if I'm researching anything right now. So let's go check in at the research guild. Or research center. I forget what it's called. It's on the way anyway. Or kind of on the way. Well, we'll, we'll deliver to Amira first. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel frustrations. Like Avi and I couldn't... Avio and I couldn't be more different. Imagine being related to Yan. Yeah. She's like... She's trying to put things in perspective. Like, sometimes she gets frustrated with Arvio, but... Then she sees Yen and Wei, and she's like, I have it pretty good. Here are your seal frames. You're welcome. Let's get out of here. Uh, so I think we're basically completely done for the day, except I do want to check my uh, my research. I think we're researching something, but I can't 100% remember. Uh, we did talk to Mian about having a baby, so that's something new that could happen in the coming days, but we'll have to wait and see about that. Are we researching anything right now? We're not. I forgot to do this. Okay. So, um, looks like we've got the advanced cooking station, the advanced tailoring station, and then some jewelry stuff. And then we'll have literally everything researched. Um, I feel like probably we want the advanced tailoring station first. Eight days. We could speed this up. How many, what do we have? 684 data disks? I'm willing to spend 240 of that. So this will now be done in four days. I like that better. Okay. And we'll just say hi to our buddy here. The twin commissioners are a fantastic study in the nature versus nurture issue. Of course, these two men have identical DNA, so what exactly led them to become such different people? Hypothesis one, it's the mustache. Hey, Goodbye. as a proud mustache wearer, I resemble that remark. Uh, yeah, that does it for today. We li There's literally nothing else to do. We have no nothing on the map, no events. Uh, so the only thing left to do is spend my stamina and go to sleep. Um, let's see, is there anything we want to do that we could do if we had a bunch of time? I mean, there's social things we could do. We could go, like, we could get go get Pablo, whatever he desires, and such and so forth, but... No, I think uh, I think we're good here. I think I'm gonna head back to the the uh, the northern plateau, and I'm gonna go down to room eleven. Yeah, I don't think it's quite time for the hazardous ruins yet. I mean, I could do some fishing, I guess, but I don't really need to right now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head back to the ruins and just uh, use all my stamina mining ore over there, because why not? And then, uh, I'm going to come back and go to sleep because there's literally nothing else to do today. So, I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do and I think I'm going to do it. And I don't think you guys need to see me do it. So, uh, we'll be back in a bit with me one day older, at least in-game, and many ores richer. See you then. Uh, well, folks, we're back. Uh, I went down to the 11th level of the Starship Abandoned Ruins and mined all the ore that I could, and I couldn't even clear the one room. It's insane how much ore there is there. So anyway, we're gonna go to sleep and see what tomorrow brings.
bunch of stuff happened overnight or at the end of the day. Let's wake up. Oh. Darling, I just got the results. I'm pregnant. The builder crews just got bigger. Fantastic. All right, good news. We're going to have a baby. She told us that she was pregnant and then ran away to go work. <laughs> you would think that... Hold on. Uh, hey there. Let's talk about this. Hopefully you have something to say. I heard my ma say that she loved orange juice when she was pregnant. She went to a restaurant once and only ordered orange juice. All right, well, I'll get you some orange juice if that's what you want, girl. Um, what is this fishing for two thing? Oh. Darling, since we're both builders and... No, nope, that's not it. What is fishing for two? Darling, any commissions I can help out on? Got it covered. Uh-huh. Well, why don't we take a break and then go sand fishing? Uh... Okay, no problem. Woo! Glad we're on the same page. Following you. Okay, we can do that. I... This is okay. We will hey, have an event I here. I wanted to come and say goodbye to you directly. I'm going back to Atara tomorrow. Oh. Oh, you got transferred? That's right. I got the message from ACI yesterday. I've been in Sandrock longer than any other assignment. It's getting harder and harder to accept the reality of having to leave. The friends I've made here, it's kind of taboo for an agent, but it's something really special. I'm going to go and say goodbye to everyone else. I didn't expect to make so many friends here. Uh, well, you can always come back to see us. Well, I don't know where I'll be next. It's out of my hands now, but I have a feeling we'll see each other again. Anyway, I really feel like you helped to make Sandrock a special place for me. I'm getting on the early train tomorrow, so I wanted to come and see you here. I know you're busy, and I don't want to inconvenience you to come and see me off. So stay safe, okay? We'll miss you, Grace. Mian and I... Well, actually, I guess we're, we're keeping it to ourselves for now, but maybe we should tell her. What do you think, Mian? Yes, I think you should. We're pregnant, and uh, we're having a baby. So, I mean, Elsie is Mian's best friend, so she'll be the godmother, but you're one of my best friends. I'd like you and Amira to be, like, co-godmothers, I think. Try to come back and see us. Bye. Uh, okay, so we're doing fishing for two. Let's, uh, say hello to the, the pets and send them off to gather water. Uh, she'll, she'll wander around with us for a while until we're actually ready to do it, so that's fine. Hey, buddy. Go, uh, go get me some water. Seems like a plan. Um, let's collect our, let's do our morning stuff. She'll do her stuff later, I guess, but we'll do the stuff that we normally do. And then we'll take her sand fishing. Um, yeah, that seems reasonable, right? Okay. Uh, let's collect the zinc uh, titanium alloys here. Um, and I think we'll cancel the... Well... You got a minute 27 left. All right, that one will allow to finish. I think these two will kill. Uh, so we'll actually, we'll prop this up with more. All right, so you keep making that. This one, um, I know we need some more magnesium chromium bricks. I'm actually going to go ahead and make a bunch of these just so we, we're not worrying about them. And then over here, what else do we need? We need limestone and granite, granite bricks. I know we need that. So we don't have any limestone. I got to go get that from somewhere else. We're starting to build up a nice backlog or a nice stock of these. We need more of this, but I think we can't have all of the machines working on it all the time. Um, granite tiles. I know we need some of that. We need silver ingots too. All right, well, let's do this. And then you can actually do the limestone or the granite tiles, I believe. Yes, you can. Okay. That's good. That seems like a good thing. Uh, you're working on aluminum scrap. You'll be on that for a while. So are you, but you have space for something after that. Plastic? Yeah, let's get some plastic going. Seems fine. 
And then uh, these guys, I think we'll leave alone for now. We'll collect what they've made, but uh, I don't. I think we're mostly o at the okay point with a lot of these resources. I just get antsy not having like as much as I need the instant I need it. So I tend to overbuild. Uh, hold on, I need to get into my storage and we're going to sort all. Transfer without sorting. Very nice. Looks like we just got a few things we need to stick in here. Like so. That's right, we used up the Yakmal uh, station. We delivered it. Okay, so in terms of what we're looking at today, aside from fishing with our pregnant wife, uh, yeah, nothing. There's one thing over here. I don't even know what that is. The miner's residence? I don't think we've ever been in there. That's like the one building I can't remember ever being in. And yeah, we don't have the main mission. Uh, I guess we should check our mail. Yeah, we should check the mail. There'll be something in here. All right, first of all, we got a letter from Logan. Max, we've finally been released from prison and we're ready to move back into our old lives again. Just got to clean the house first. Give us a bit to clean up and we'll hang out. Okay, maybe that's the minor thing. Uh, and then we've got a gift from Pablo and another one from Chi. Some face cream and a relic bag. Okay, all right. Well, uh, Mian wants to catch some sand carp, so I don't quite know how this is going to work fishing for two. I guess she's going to stand there and watch me and be like, oh, you're so strong and brave. Uh, I can't see what else it would be. Because she doesn't even have a, like, she doesn't have a fishing trap. But let's, I mean, I guess we'll go try it out, right? Okay, so it wants us to catch three sand carp. And I think we're about to do exactly that. Oh, I missed you. Okay, so that's three sand carp. And now what? Now we talk to her? What a haul! Good stuff. I'll share some of these with our friends. Let me know if you decide to cook anything with them. Okay. Mian paid us $700 to stand and watch his fish. I guess you wanted to look at my butt. Not surprising, I have a nice butt. Even the Rat Queen said so. Uh, that reminds me, what happened with that? Oh, you know what I should do? I, sh I keep forgetting to do this. We should go grab the um, advanced mechanical scrap in here. Um, what happened with that mirror we put in jail? You know what I mean? We put the we put the the AI mirror thing in jail, and then didn't we also give? I was sort of thinking this might be part of it, but we gave um, like a pet management chip or something to Chi. He said he would look into it. <laughs> I thought maybe we'd put the chip in the AI mirror and then it would become like a pet handler for us, but maybe not. Fiber scrap. We need fiber scrap and ceramic scrap and advanced mechanical scrap. All the scraps, really. Because it's the only way to get certain objects. How much time have you guys spent in this playthrough watching me swing this hammer at various things? I mean, it's got to add up to at least like 35, 40 minutes of, of just that. Like literally just the animation of him swinging the hammer. Might be more than that. I don't know. Uh, we do have a point of knowledge here. Let's see what that is. Workshop knowledge. Okay, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. We've got very little left to put points into. 3% chance for the ore refinery and recycler to provide additional output. Well, recycler we very much want, even if it's, even if it's only a 3% chance. And on the occasions when we're using the recycler, that'll be nice as well. Inspection time, I don't care about. Uh, bag slots, I don't care about. Selling livestock, I don't really care about. Maximum floor. So the rest of this is just put it wherever. Because uh, we've got everything else that we need. Yeah, we're getting close to like maxing out... All the machines we can build, and we're getting close to maxing out all the, um, the knowledge perks we can get. But it seems like there's still a lot of game left to go. Like, there's a lot of story left. So it might be a lot of, like, just grinding money and commissions, and then, like, waiting for the next thing to happen. I mean, it seems like that's the way, kind of the way it's been already. But, I mean, we do have a kid on the way, so that'll be interesting. And, you know, this this story of building the road to Porsche, undoubtedly there will be more complications. And uh, probably more conflict of some sort. 
All right, why don't we go see Logan? Uh, he invited us. And then, let's see, it's still early in the morning. I'm just going to stand there, hun. You okay? You need some orange juice? Uh, yeah, and then we can do... It's another new day, so we can do more commissions. We can do more stamina usage stuff. I don't know. I don't know. We'll go see what happens. We'll go see what there is to see. Uh, let's see. We gotta get up here. And then, yeah, it's over in this direction. Let me see what this is. Logan's home. Oh, right. We broke in here before. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if he knows that, like... <laughs> We, sma we smashed a window, right? But then we repaired it. Well, let's see what this is. I get nostalgic for the spaciousness of our old place, but well, nothing beats home sweet home. Woohoo! Dibs on the big bed. Which one's the big bed? Take a big whiff, y'all. Smell that? It's the smell of home. You may be mistaking the smell of home with the smell of dust. I guess we have been gone for a minute. Fortunately for us, dust is not the most formidable of foes. With the proper tools, we'll have this place clean as a whistle in no time at all. Hey there, partner. You're a little early for the uh, housewarming party. Apologies. Having you here in this dust bowl is even less hospitable than our first encounter. I'm a lean, mean cleaning machine. Besides, I've already been in here. You can always use an extra pair of hands. Grab a duster and start dusting. You got it. Normally, I have my woman do it for me, but <laughs> that was uh, that was that was a joke. That was joke misogyny based on the gameplay that we've assigned that duty to her back at the uh, workshop. I'm happy to help clean. I'm not good at it in my real life, but hey. I heard they found a giggler over by the canyon. <laughs> Strange, ain't it? Maybe I should investigate? Uh, well, you're... You've paid your debt to society by spending five days in, in jail, I guess. You can do what you want, man. Let's see. We gotta clean sand and dust. Alright, there's the dust all cleared, I think. So now we gotta find where to dust. Okay, that seems like a fairly large pile. I got a feather duster. I got a, a rare feather duster? So this one's a perfect feather duster. It has cleaning power of 12 and then plus 10%. This has a cleaning power of 15 and plus 9%. So 12 plus 10% is 13.2. Uh, this is obviously the better one. We'll keep it forever now. Uh, what are we doing with this feather duster? That's a lot of sand. I picked up... Did I pick up at the wedding photo? What? No. Okay. I don't know what that was. Uh, we're looking for one more giant pile of dust. Or sand, rather. Must be over here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. A memento. All seems so long ago now. Nah, just another piece of junk. What you got there? It's my folks. Day of their wedding. Dang, your folks are foxes? Hey, anyone ever tell you you look like your ma? Wait a sec. Looks like this photo was ripped up on purpose. Oh, Andy. You have all the tact of a nine-year-old, which I guess is appropriate. Reckon that'd be my pa. He was always a bit torn up himself about the whole ordeal. Never really knew my ma, so this don't stir up much in the way of emotion for me. Though I do suppose now I'm the only one in our family still around. Logan, you yourself on multiple occasions have referred to us as your family. Yeah, come on! Gang's better than family anyway. We're the family we picked ourselves. Yeah, sorry, fellas. Just got a little swept up there for a minute. Uh, by the way, Grace said she's leaving tomorrow morning. Uh, told you too, right? We're going to see her off at the station tomorrow morning. If you've got some time, you should come too. 
We've all been through so much, it's the least we could do. Andy, Hard agree. We're gonna have to get to sleep a little early tonight. We're gonna rise and shine real early tomorrow. I know. I'm gonna sleep real early, and I can be the first there to see her off. <laughs> I bet. What time's her train again? Gotta make sure we ain't late. Thanks for coming today. Feel free to come by any time. Bye! All right, there we go. When the dust settles, mission complete. Okay, folks. Uh, so, we've got the rest of the day and nothing to do, which means I'm probably going to do more commissions. You guessed it. And I'm probably going to go spend my stamina mining ore or something like that. Depending on whatever it is that I think I need. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode. As always, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and being part of my community. It really wouldn't make sense to do any of this without you guys. And uh, you're, you're a great, great source of... Uh, satisfaction to me that I have people who watch me play video games on the internet. So thank you. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Take care.